space economy with our continued emphasis on expanding the space economy by five times in the next 10 years, a venture capital fund of 1,000 crore rupees will be set up. Priority nine, next generation reforms. Economic policy framework. We will formulate an economic to delineate the overarching approach to economic development and set the scope of the next generation of reforms for facilitating employment opportunities and sustaining high growth. Our government will initiate and incentivize reforms for, one, improving productivity of factors of production, and two, facilitating markets to become more efficient. These reforms will cover all factors of production, namely land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship, and technology as an enabler of improving total factor productivity and bridging inequality. Effective implementation of several of these reforms requires collaboration between the center and the states and building consensus as development of the country lies in development of the states. For promoting competitive federalism and incentivizing states for faster implementation of reforms, I propose to earmark a significant part of the 50-year interest-free loan. Working with the states, we will initiate the following reforms. Land-related reforms and actions, both in the rural and urban areas, will cover land administration, will cover, one, land administration, planning and management, and two, urban planning usage and building bylaws. These will be incentivized for completion within the next three years through appropriate fiscal support. Rural land-related actions. Rural land-related actions will include, one, assignment of unique land parcel identification number, UL PIN, or BU Aadhaar for all lands. Two, digitization of cadastral maps. Three, survey of subdivisions, survey of map sub subdivisions as per current ownership. Four, establishment of land registry. And five, linking to the farmer's registry. These actions will also facilitate credit flow and other agricultural services. Urban land related actions. Land records in urban areas will be digitized with GIS mapping. An IT-based system for property record administration, updating, and tax administration will be established. These will also facilitate improving the financial position of urban local bodies. Labor-related reforms. Services to labor. Our government will facilitate the provision of a wide array of services to labor, including those for employment and skilling. A comprehensive integration of eShrum portal with other portals will facilitate such one-stop solution. Open architecture databases for the rapidly changing labor market, skill requirements, and available job roles, and a mechanism to connect job aspirants with potential employers and skill providers will be covered in these services. Shram Suvida and Samadhan Portal. Shram Suvida and Samadhan Portal will be revamped to enhance ease of compliance for industry and trade. Capital and entrepreneurship related reforms, financial sector vision and strategy. For meeting financing needs of the economy, our government will bring out a financial sector vision and strategy document to prepare the sector in terms of size, capacity, and skills. This will set the agenda for the next five years and guide the work of the government, regulators, financial institutions, and market participants. Taxonomy for climate finance. 
we will develop taxonomy for climate finance for enhancing the availability of capital for climate adaptation and mitigation. This will support achievement of the country's climate commitments and green transition. Variable capital company structure. We will seek the required legislative approval for providing an efficient and flexible mode for financing leasing of aircrafts and ships and pooled funds of private equity through a variable company structure. Foreign direct investments and the rules and regulations for foreign direct investment and overseas investments will be simplified to one, facilitate foreign direct investments, two, nudge prioritization, and three, promote currency for overseas investment. NPS Vatsalya. NPS Vatsalya, a plan for contribution by parents and guardians for minors will be started. On attaining the age of majority, uh, the plan can be converted seamlessly into a normal NPS account. Use of technology. We have successfully used technology for improving productivity and bridging inequality in our economy during the past 10 years. Public investment in digital infrastructure and innovations by the private sector have helped in improving access of all citizens, particularly the common people, to market resources, education, health and services. We will step up adoption of technology towards digital, digitalization of the economy.